Come and see what God has done. His his awesome deeds for mankind. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. Let's pray. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, great God who comes us into your presence through your Son. We are able to approach you. We see it, O oh God, that you may speak to us, our Lord, and we pray all this brief and trust in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to welcome you all that we may share together in this moment of hearing the word of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. We're going to do our first Bible reading that is taken from the book of Ezekiel. That is 6, and I'm going to do first 26 and 27. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and to be careful to keep my rules. Our second Bible reading is taken from the book of Matthew 13, and I'm reading from verse 1 to 6. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the rick. Such red crowns gathered around him, and he got into a boat and sat in it. All the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went down to sow his seed. Today I'll be sharing on a step forward for the receptive heart. I'm fine and saved by the grace of God. We've been discussing the theme of the new year, a time to take a step forward. And a time to take a step forward is a privilege and an opportunity which is given by God. When God was promising to move in a very special way with the children of Israel or promising restoration, this something very special that he promised to them. Changed heart. A heart that is receptive to his word. When he was talking about restoration or assurance of restoration to the children of Israel, he also promises to put in them his spirit. And in this spirit, it will give them a receptive heart. Walking a journey or making step in our spiritual life begins with the how we are receptive to his word. It is not about how we can do it by our own, but how much are we willing to yield to God? It is very easy to move in terms of the physical movement. Sometimes it comes in a very natural way to move our bodies. But one of the things that do not come so naturally is the movement of the heart in terms of the spiritual progress 
emotional progress, all that pertains to the inside of us. If we receive an instruction right now, let us run out of this building. Or like the way we receive instructions from the leader of the service, we shall they are told either stand for singing, for praise and worship, and it becomes like so easy that everyone is able to follow the instructions. Because we hear, then it is also very easy to move our bodies when we have a heart. But one of the hardest things is to have like the heart growing the same reception. That as we are and we hear physically and are able to respond to the instructions that you are given. We need to grow a very receptive heart for us to progress in this new year. Our progress so much depends on how much we are ready to hear and yield to God. We need the Holy Spirit of God and we must always desire that our lives are broken in terms of the Holy Spirit is in control. Because when the Holy Spirit of, of God is in control, he gives us receptive hearts. In the book of Ezekiel, God tells them, I'm going to remove the heart of stone. This is a heart kind of, a heart that does not yield. It isn't receptive. And walking along with God and following him for progress, it should be a, 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 a thing that we cannot be able to do. We cannot make a step forward if we do not begin by yielding to God. Our desire to yield follow God who is guiding us, giving in to the working of the Holy Spirit in us, that in the areas that you like us to move, we are willing. We are giving in to the persuasions of the Holy Spirit of God. That what will make us move from where we are. I said moving the body. Sometimes it comes so naturally. But when it is a matter of moving the heart from one position in terms of attitudes, it requires the working of the Holy Spirit. Moving the body can come naturally, but moving the, the heart requires the working of the Holy Spirit of God. Moving our mind requires faith and conviction. That God is for us and is with us. And we are following God. It's very important that uh, if we really desire and we have an honest desire to grow, it must start with how much we are receptive to the voice of God, to his word, and to his guiding voice. In our second reading, Jesus still 
was giving a parable. And in it, he talks about how the word is received. And up to where we read, he mentions about the seeds that fell on the path and others that fell on a rocky place. And in all of them, they did not survive the test or they didn't live long to be what they were supposed to be. There was no progress in these two kinds of seeds just to concentrate ourselves on these fasces. You know, the hardness of the ground made it hard for the seed to germinate. No soil, no enough soil, even for the one that fell in a rocky place. Our progress begins with our reception. How receptive we are to the voice of God. Our progress is majorly about us yielding to the voice of God and our willingness to follow his word. Because it is the word of God that makes us to become. That is what we are. But there is what we become when the Holy Spirit of God is working in us, empowering us to yield to the voice of God. If we really want to move, it begins with our attitudes on how we receive the word of God. How and how, how we Hold the attention. How our hearts are yielding. Our willingness to follow God. And this is something that we should desire this morning. I want to have a heart that has reset to God in the beginning of the year. We should desire that this promise of having a changed heart, a walk with God, restarts with a changed heart. And a changed heart only happens when we allow the Holy Spirit of God to be in charge. And then we have a heart that is soft and tender and willing to walk in accordance to the word of the Lord. Take a challenge, and I take a challenge as we begin the year. How, and challenge yourself, how receptive are you? How receptive am I? And this will set you in a very good position of progress and you will become because you are listening to God and you are willing to submit to the Holy Spirit of God. God bless you all. Amen. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word telling us that it begins with the how. We are receptive to your word. Our progress comes from listening to you, yielding to the persuasions of your Holy Spirit. Our Lord, 
We want to begin by a heart, having a heart that is yielding to your holy will. Soften our hand, hands where we have been stubborn. Our Lord, you want to live in submission to your holy will that we can be able to advance and grow and be what you like us to be in the new year. Lord, we thank you and worship you, and it is in just name that we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you for joining us for today's online service. We appreciate your participation and love. We urge you to continue connecting with us through liking, commenting, and sharing these messages with your family and your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more and more messages. God bless you.